Sneaker Show. Hell yeah. <laughs> you know what it is. We're here to talk sneakers. There's two of us in the room right now. Nathan couldn't be here, but my dog, Shay, is with us, and we've got a guest. What kind of shoes are we talking about today, Fredo? Uh, talking about some twos, talking about some New Balance, and talking about some more bullshit from Mischief. So. Oh, the bullshittiest of shit. Can you believe this hospital boot that they're selling us now? For $450 <laughs> USD. Hey, it looks ridiculous, but at least it costs a bag. The New Balance news is hot. We got season two from Teddy Santis. We've got the new Nigel Sylvester's. We're going to jump right into that. A black pair. It was all the rage this week. Wait till you hear about when they're coming out. Yeah, we'll dig right deep into it. Most importantly, returning guest, Nate T three that's the instagram nate dot t3 you want to learn how to wear clothes you want to learn what shoes go with clothes you want to get inspired you want to get big follow our homie nate dot t3 dude we got real with him what a good guy what's some he's of your like, favorite his instagram is like the costco of instagram he's just got everything you know <laughs> and it's a hell of a deal too get that membership sign up nate dot t3 yeah, there's lots of good stuff. Yeah, it's motivational. It's inspiring. It's life changing. This dude, though, he just he knows how to put fits together. He really I think I comment the same thing all the time. My guy makes it look easy. He really does. He's got a, a simple wardrobe, but he puts it together in a million different ways. And we're just stoked to have him. So without further ado, please remember to click the link below in the description. Watch the YouTube if you want to see our guy, if you want to have a visual with the shoes and everything we're talking about. There is a YouTube version of this podcast, and that link is in the description of this episode. So let's go. Here comes Nate.t3. We love you guys. Thanks for watching and listening. What an intro. My God. Anybody else got chills? <laughs> is that what that feeling is? <laughs> so we're here with our dog, Nate. My guy. Gentlemen, what's going on? It's been, it's been, I think, way too long. Yeah, it's, it's been, been a minute. Yeah. Nate, being a returning guest, we know who you are, and we'll get a little bit more into what's happening with you. But I thought maybe we'd just jump into the sneakers, see how we feel about some yeah. pairs. Cool. Let's I love it. it. Let's do it, boys. Here is Nigel Sylvester. So I guess, Fredo, you had a pair, right, of the first pair? Yeah, I had a pair of like the like yellowish tan ones. I think I paid like two seventy five for them. And I sold oh. them for like six hundred <laughs> after yeah, I wore them too. Crazy. Yeah, those went up like crazy, crazy fast, eh? Yeah, it was nuts. Um, but yeah, this is like the new one, isn't it, Tim? This is the black pair. Yeah. So what I've got written down is the first pair became a classic. It was white, cream, pre distressed. It's got the red sole. They had the scuffs. They looked like they'd been BMXed in. There's the extra little swoosh mark on the toe. It was a white shoe, but it had a black tongue. One side had the gray swoosh. The other side looked like the swoosh was like ripped off. They almost looked like moldy. And somehow that works. I mean, what a risk for this guy. Now we've got the flip side of it. And God, he's rocking them, hey? <sighs> Does he make those That's such good? a fit, dude. To pull off leather pants like that yeah that's adventurous for real <laughs> if you can if you can rock it though you can rock it like he's definitely pulling off here the vest too or is that is it a bag or is that a vest that. <laughs> it looks like a rick vest <laughs> yeah, yeah that's like what a we're just super saying. thin up top like yeah 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 it's like a muscle shirt but it's a zip up the front so these it's the reverse it's the yin yang it's the flip we got the black pair now and it is a full flip Mostly black. The tongue is white this time. Still got the red outsole. There's some scuffs. It's got the mini swoosh. The tongue tag is reversed. They're hard. Dude, these are these so are tough. Oh, yeah. These are money, man. I don't like, what do you guys think between these ones or the first pair? Like, I, after seeing these now, like, I'm on the fence, man. Like, these are, these are pretty clean, too. The first pair is like one of my favorite 
Jordan ones of like all time, and yeah. these would be above. I think if the quality oh, of wow. these is That's like the old day. ones, okay. If yes, if this true. is like the other pair, because the other pair was crazy. Um, yeah, I would put these above. I love them. I kind of like for these ones that the distressing is a little bit more subtle for some mm-hmm. reason. Like with mm-hmm. the white ones, you you really see it, but these ones, it's kind of a little bit more dialed back, but still definitely an aspect of it. But yeah, these are these are dope. You can really see it here on the white swoosh where it's got that yeah. sort of molded look to it, moldy look to it. But because it's black, it, it just doesn't show as much. Right. There's a new detail on this that's a, did, did the first pair say that? Yeah. Jordan? Yeah. Okay. So it's exact same, just flipped. Jordan Biking Company established 2017 on the insole. Would you, I guess we've gone through, would you rather? Unfortunately, here's the news. I saw people sharing this like it's a thing. People are like, oh, Sylvester goes two for two from the field. But this was a gift. This is a gift from Jordan Brand to Nigel. He wrote a book. They're like, congratulations on leveling up again. Here's a wacky pair of shoes that I don't think anybody is going to get. Stay tuned to Sneaker Show. If we find out about an actual release, you'll be the first person we tell about it. But right now, cool your jets and just enjoy the view, I guess. That hurts. Oh, yeah, that stinks. I was like, wait a sec. I, I didn't hear about these releasing. Like, <laughs> oh, I wish, man. I saw it popping up in people's stories and I just went, oh, great. Give me the release. Is this an October thing? Is this in the spring? It's like, no, this is no plans for it to come mm-hmm. up, but they're hard. Fredo has a pair now, and I, I believe this is an attainable pair. Damn, the year of the two continues. Uh, yeah, so this is the Jordan 2 Craft. Um, Jordan is once again back with another women's shoe that I will not be able to wear because they aren't doing extended sizing. Um, yeah, so this is coming out in the new year, uh, I think January 26th. Um, but yeah, lots of like good brown and sale colors. I think these are sick. Kind of a soft yeah, brown. This, this colorway. I like the, the bottom's like a kind of a Neapolitan type vibe too. I like that. Yeah, that's what they remind me of is like the Neapolitan like threes. I think they were. Neapolitan threes? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Perfect description. Yeah, they look delicious. Do you wear twos, Nate? That's the thing. I, I like a couple of the ones that have released this past year. Like, um, I don't know. I don't know if I have, like, I, I don't personally have any in the rotation, but I'm definitely open to it. Like those Chicago twos at the end of the year, like you can't hate those. Like these, I like those earth tone colors. It's just, it's, I, I feel like a harder shoe to rock on the daily. You know what I mean? Like I have yeah. a lot of sneakers I wear uh, like a lot in my collection, but not necessarily ones that are just like one-offs, you know? So I feel like this is one of those one-off shoes where I couldn't really fit it in to the rotation on, on an everyday basis. You know what I mean? I had like one pair of twos and I found them so uncomfortable, but they were Probably, like, the, yeah, I don't even, I had like the, I had the Arctic orange, like Dawn's. And okay. I think, I think part of it was like the leather insole on it and like liner. So they were just like so hot and so clunky, but yeah, I feel that man. These are these are nice though. Like I like the direction it's going in. I really like the Union twos, honestly. Like those are probably some of my favorite shoes I released this past year. But uh, yeah, these are these aren't bad though. I like the colors on them. Uh, I feel like they'll still they'll still move. But uh, I like what they're doing with the twos. I like that they're trying to revitalize them. Those Union twos went down a ton too. I think didn't they? Oh yeah, yeah they did. Which they're is like three hundred yeah. bucks now. That's a steal. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, if you're looking for this kind of color in a two, the rattans for pretty much retail, it'd be hard not to go with Union, especially if they can't get your size, Fredo. That sucks so much for the big footers. And like, there's a lot out there. Those starfish highs mm-hmm. you can't get. Uh, the yeah. purple canyon fours, those real hairy looking fuzzy purple ones. Right, with the right. Green. Every like Fire. women's release that I like is like the ones that they don't do an extended sizing. <laughs> Yeah, they're clean. So that's in the new year. What do we got next here? Holy smokes, guys. Yeah, those Teddy Santis. Those Teddy Santis. Another, what is it, another 16? Yeah, I haven't even counted. It's at least a Baker's does. One, two, three, four, Go. Five, six, seven, I think it's 16. Eight. So many colors. Do you see anything here? We're looking at uh, Teddy Santis is doing season two of the 990s, V1, V2, V3. It's a mixture. It's a bunch of different colors. 
Here, let's see what I got written down. He definitely went brighter with this uh, selection. That's for sure. Everything else was was grayed out from that last collection. And now he's like definitely stepping out into the vibrant colors a little bit more there. That one. That one's yeah. sick. That's popping for sure. Purple, yeah. fuchsia, and then the yellow N on the side. White. The Barney yellow. colorway. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm liking those green ones I'm seeing. Like a lot of different green or like earth yeah. tones. Even that first one's pretty nice too. Green this, and yellow there. This John that Deere pair. That Oregon yeah. box colorway. Yeah. Yeah, those are clean. So, Teddy Santis, season two of New Balance. Season one uh, already had so many options. Uh, a lot of them sit. You can get them for retail. Some are still sitting right now. These are gettable shoes. So, if you see something you like, go for it. And honestly, the, the ones I liked the most from the first season were the simple, like, marble head gray ones. And they had different textures. Some had that real hairy shag, that shaggy yeah. suede. So, they're all 990s again, but different versions. And there is a word that he's going to have one of the new v6s the 990 v6 so all of them are made in usa the colors they say are inspired by outdoor colors outside the first pair is expected like this week uh depending on when this episode drops october 27th so does this kind of thing drop like all at once or do they do it like day by day kind of thing it was like week by week and uh, oh, okay Sometimes they do two colors at once. There was like, he'd do the V2 and the V3 of the Navy. And then the next. Oh, week. word. So we got. Okay. Go so, so it's kind of more staggered, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. This is the aerial view. And like, I'm a new balance fan. I've actually got a whole shelf now. And I think that's like the direction I'm going to continue going in. But honestly, we've talked about New Balance in the past, and I've been like, did I say the wrong numbers? Like, is it a 993 or is it a 990V3? <laughs> I feel like such that a... That always it, gets me, man. Yeah. <laughs> that always gets me. There's, there's way too many numbers of these of these types. But but uh, I've been leaning into, like, the 2002R for me is one of my favorite uh, New Balance with models right now. And I'm with you. Like, I'm much more interested, I think, this past year in, like, really diving into a couple different models. Like, I really like the 990 that's like definitely up there for me, but yeah, I have a pair of 2002 R's and I just have the other 550s right now, but I just, I just picked up another 2002 and I'm like, I'm leaning into it. You know, I'm, I'm definitely more on the new balance train this year. It's just, I feel like it opens a door to for a lot of different types of outfits as well. Like you can only pull off so many with like the classic Jordans and stuff like that, but I think it's just adds something different. And I, and I like that it's fresh and a lot of new types and styles now. So I'm with you there. Is that block? Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Tom. Just if if you follow Nate on Instagram, you see he puts his whole wardrobe together. There's every piece works with other pieces, and he's happy to explain how to make colors work and match it to like the understated color on your hat. And so I'm interested. I know you got the Phantoms. I did too. The 2002s. What's your your new one? Love those. Love those. So I just I don't even have them in yet, but they're the uh, the Mirage Gray. Um, I just ordered them like last week. Sometimes so they should be here soon. But yeah, like I because i obviously I couldn't get the protection pack i was like looking at that uh that rain cloud colorway i'm like no way ain't no chance i'm paying like what is it like 600 700 right now for them i'm like they're nice but mm -mm. so the, the mirage gray was a close, a close oh yeah these are back. sick I, I really like those yeah yeah those are tight yeah right it's like same idea same kind of uh like uh, i don't know like that shark attack look you know but the, the colorway yeah. is super wearable you know yeah Totally. The the way it on the side has teeth. I got the orange pair. It looks like yes, it's yes, exactly. Into it. That same. Yeah. What is it? it's the higher learning pack, right? Like it's not the it's not another protection pack. It's the higher learning, right? That's yeah. The, the refined real term. future. The refined your front future. Yes, yeah. Yeah. But then there's like uh, there's a violet purpley colored one and a blue one that's yeah. sort of floating. Yeah. Around. I don't think we got it in Canada yet though. Oh, we didn't. Okay. I was going to say, I was like, I haven't seen much about that release, but that would, that orange one is definitely my second favorite out of that pack. I, I love it. Dude. Yeah. I didn't even want to buy them. I, I, <laughs> I decided I'm not buying these. And then later that day I had a chance. I walked into a store. They're like, do you want to try them on? And I was like, yes. All right, I'm in. That's all I needed. That's all I needed. I feel you, man. They even, the protection pack ones feel a little different than the general release ones. They, they're, they're a little oh, yeah? more comfortable, honestly sweet yeah. I'm and i'm getting that. that gray one i'm getting oh, it yes it's gonna happen. yes gotta do it yeah. love it man 
they've come down a little bit since there's so many releases, but uh, they were well, at one I time saw like them. a thousand. Oh yeah, those those gray ones are going to be a, a purchase at one point. They're yeah, they're what are they? Were they actually over a thousand at one point? Or yeah, they were like twelve oh at God. one point. What? That's uh, that's absolutely crazy. <laughs> and that was when I was most horned up for them. And Nathan and I were having a conversation. He's like, "Would you, you know, just investment wise, would you rather like buy?" the black cat fours, which are going for a thousand for some crazy reason and keep on going up just a black Jordan four or this very cool protection pack with the original new balance gray. And I was like, give me that rain cloud. And he's like, dude, that's not going to work in the long haul. And he's a, he's a psychic. He knows. Damn. Yeah. That's, that's fair, man. Rest in peace. He couldn't be here, but. Yeah. He's no longer with us. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. So we're looking at season two of the Teddy Santis releases that are coming up. There's so many and so many things to match them with. And I, I honestly struggle telling one from the other. So I'm going to take you through a quick history of the flagship New Balance shoe. So we all know the difference from V1 up to V6. Let's see if we can just get through this and we won't take up too much time. The first one came out 1982. Oh, this is the V5. This is a good start. I'm on. <laughs> Here we go. V1. V1 of the 990. 1982. This was the first runner to retail for $100 USD. People were like, no one's spending $100 on shoes. That's ridiculous. It became the reason that New Balance was known. Then they waited till 1998 to give us V2 from 82 up to 98. In that time, New Balance had released 995s, 998s, but they went back and redid the OG in 98 to introduce this new cushioned absorb sole, which is what I don't like about these. That thing's honked up. But people swear by them. So then the next update comes in 2012. This is the 30th anniversary of the 990. They got pig, pig skin suede. They got the mesh upper. They got that diamond design on the tongue. That's how I know I'm looking at a V3. I look for those diamonds on the tongue. And these are a must-have. I, I, I will get some V3s at some point. Probably a Joe Fresh Goods. Is that those ones that are coming out? Then I get confused. I think the three I new ones, the pink, green, and blue that Joe is doing are 993s. Okay. You know, even saying I need it out loud. All of those. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yep. That pack. Then we start updating them really quickly. 2016, they gave us V4. This is when the dad shoe craze began. Minor upgrades this time. They got the American flag on the tongue. The N on the side is much bigger. Models are wearing them. Hipsters are like, I used to wear these before they were cool. That's V4. <laughs> V5 comes out 2019, and there's plastic on the outside of the shoe. And I, that's just what I dislike off the hop. I'm sure they're comfortable. I'm sure they're technically sound, but you see them sitting everywhere, and I'm sure it's because of that plastic. Nate, do you ever wear shoes that have plastic visible? Honestly, I don't think it's a good look, man. I'm, I'm right with you there. Like, it's just, it takes away something from the shoe, I feel like. Like, most of these 990s, I'm, I'm all for, but yeah, I don't, I don't rock the plastic. I think like shape wise, this would be one of the best ones if that was like suede. It yeah, that small change would make a big difference, <laughs> you know. Really cheapens it, and it costs a bag. These things are premium price. Yeah, what like they're like almost three hundred for these or something like that, right? Yeah, two and a half about. Yeah, New sure. Balance retail is crazy. Yeah. So twenty twenty two comes around. This is the V six. And I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't know. You know, sometimes it's the shoes or the music that you don't like that eventually you like the most. So I'll hear them out. Look at Foam Runners. Everybody's first take, no. And now, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they still say this is happening in 2022. Action Bronson's got his own signature gray, gray pair should be the first pair. But Bronson's got like a wild colored one that I'm real interested in. The is that the that, one that he wore in wrestling? Yes. Oh, yeah. word. Yeah, those are wild. Yeah, what a guy. Rap star becomes a wrestler, debuts his own shoe. 
name one thing cooler than all of those. <laughs> so this, uh, the, the only real difference is that it's kind of a little more streamlined look. The N is sitting on mesh instead of suede. It's a much chunkier sole, uh, but they say it should look like it's moving just sitting there. So <laughs> do you guys get that feeling that it's 10 miles an hour parked? There's something about this one that's just throwing me off, and I think it's the sole. Maybe yeah. I think the soles be a little bit too chunky for me. Um, I I got to see it in different colorways too. I think before I like fully pass judgment on this one because it has potential. I feel like, but yeah, some for some reason the sole is throwing me off here. I don't know if it's like the angle of this photo, but it looks like the sole is like half the height of the shoe. Truly, yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. If we flip back here, yeah, you got like seven eighths shoe and then a little bit of sole on the v5 yeah this one yeah. is like damn near half yeah yeah you pinpointed it so that's my little new balance spiel for the week <laughs> i'm gonna clear off one of these jordan shelves for all the 2002s and 990s and 993s yeah. we gotta get they do feel so goddamn good, man. Uh, you spend a day in ones and you, you feel like you look good and everything, but if you want to yeah. feel good, get that N on. Yeah. You balance all day, no problem. Jordan 4 is it's like, take those things off. Like, you, after three hours, you're done. Oh, a day in fours? Don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. Just get the picture. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Quick on and off. That's it. Okay. There was this other... and. This is by far the most ridiculous name in sneakers this year. And there's another story from Mischief this week. Fredo. Yeah, this is the uh, the Mischief AC1 walking boot. This is, like, it's literally a shelled, like, foot boot for, like, if you just broke your foot. Um, I don't know. I love a lot of the Mischief sh shoes that they do, but this is definitely not one of them. Um, especially not with that 450 US retail. And you know they're still gonna sell out too immediately. Yeah. <laughs> like hundred percent. Wow. Wow. The the packaging on these was really sick, but not worth the four fifty. So I see these trending and I go, Oh cool, a brand name version of something for people to rehab with like it really looks like you only need this if you have broken your leg and you want to you still want to have style sure you go with the mischief but this is they intend people to put that little booty on it's a booty on the inside and you velcro in and then you put on this big plastic ridiculous hospital gear and s strap on these seat belts did you guys see that uh there's an Instagram reel of a guy hooping in them. He's like, oh, you can do anything in these. Oh, my God. No way. Oh, yeah. my. And he's just, like, wiping out all over the place everywhere he goes. He's falling down. Did you guys ever see when um, 2J's Kicks broke his foot and he got, like, a custom cast from Covet and he did, like, a Chrome Hearts one? Yeah. It was Oh, nuts, no, I didn't dude. see that. Yeah. Oh, uh, no. Covet cost. I think it was Covet. They did, like, a custom, like, boot for him. And it was like a Chrome Hearts one. It was sick. I mean, if you got to do it, make it look nice. But yeah. I mean, I'm, just for having these as a pair in the collection, I don't know. I don't know the use of it, you know, if you don't actually need it. But it's an interesting concept. That's for sure. I don't know who's uh, who's going to be rocking these. But <laughs> hey, more, more power to them, you know. What other mischief shoes were there this year? There was the uh, like the Vans with the wave the on the bottom. The gob stompers, I wanted to go for those, but oh, I could not justify good. the retail on those. For like something that I was gonna like take a Dremel to and destroy, I could not justify like the four fifty or whatever it was. Of the three they did, the wavy vans, this cast, and then the the gob stomper was like a wear away platform shoe that they did. Jimmy Fallon was involved with that. That was a pretty rad idea. That's the one. If you're going to spend a bunch of money on something stupid, that'd be, <laughs> that'd be it. That'd be it right there. Yep. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> that brings us to the game. Fredo, would you like to queue up what we're about to do here, my friend? Yeah. Um, so this is usually what young Tabasco does, but we are going to play a little does it fit. 
Um, so this week we got Debo Samuel from the 49ers, Mr. Steve Harvey, two Jays kicks, and our very own Nate T3. Mm, surprise. Um, hey. So for those unfamiliar how the game is played, basically we're just going to say it, it fits if it fits. And maybe if it's on a different wavelength, we're just going to say it doesn't fit. So let's get after it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So, yeah, first up from the 49ers is Debo Samuel. Got that snap back on, couple chains, crazy overcoat, some ripped jeans, some sneakers, and a go yard bag. Nate, does this fit? I'm going to go yes. The uh, the only thing that I would personally change for this fit is the jeans for me are a little tight, a little on the tight side. But other than that, all the other elements are, are on point. Like this jacket, that's that's money. Like that is, that is fucking beautiful. I don't know what kind of jacket this is, but it's super nice. Like I like the, the leather hit with the hat up there. Like it's dope. But yeah, the jeans, the jeans are the only thing for me. But I'm going to say yes, this, this is a fit. Yeah, those jeans might not be tight on everybody. This guy's got legs like a bull. Bees, yeah, a yeah. whole one. Yeah. I'm with you, dude. The the crocheted jacket is fire. That bag is Super a bag, cool. dude. Yeah. Absolutely. I love when people pull something off that looks like it could be on your grandma's table, like as a tea cozy. Is this thing holding a teapot in the off hours he throws <laughs> for the tunnel? But fit? he made it work. He made it work for real. And you know, it's the smile. He looks like he's enjoying himself. It's the best thing you can put on. You can dress ridiculous, but if you are clearly enjoying yourself, it's a fit. You like it, yeah. Fredo? I yeah, I'm like same boat as you guys. I love everything. I'm not huge into the pants just because they're a little fitted for me. But that jacket is crazy. You could throw a go yard bag with anything, anything, and I'll probably say it fits. But yeah. What's, what sneakers has he got on there? Can't even really see those. Like, those. It's like a denim chuck or something almost. Yeah. Kind of like a Rick. Rick vibe a little bit. Yeah. Like denim version. They're real hairy. Yeah, those are... yeah. Oh, I didn't even notice that at first. Yeah, that's, that's pretty sweet. It's different. Yeah, yeah I know. The denim. shoes the shoes pulled together. But yeah, I just feel like a little bit looser of a pant with that. And that, that would have that made the fit 10 and 10 for me, but. Yeah, it's just the jeans throwing me off a little bit. It's so tight. It looks like a sweatpant cuff, you know, like. Yes. Yeah, they literally look like cuffs, like a jogger. Man, I just got all my pants for this season. I got four pairs that are not this tight. <laughs> <laughs> got to go in the other direction. Just a yeah. little bit. Just a little bit. You don't have to go like that super baggy. Like, again, like for me, the parachute pants, too, that's a little bit too far on the spectrum, but that middle point that middle ground you know what i mean where you still look comfortable but it's not like hugging your legs too yeah. tight and you can move around you know yeah does it fit slide two yeah mr steve harvey got that printed shirt on some green dress pants and some green sandals uh, i don't know if that's shack beside him but i'm assuming it is by the size of him <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna say yes. Just based on um, the feet solely. Yeah. That's Shaq. <laughs> um, Look how much bigger his feet are. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's two of he, Steve's. He's feet. always yeah. He's always rocking those like Tom's looking ones too. It's got to be Shaq. Homie's um, Dior's Tom. here too. <laughs> Steve Nate, Harvey's always a pimp. Ooh, Nate, what do you think of this one? I don't think anyone but Steve Harvey could put off pull off this fit. <laughs> this is this is like I would see this anywhere else. I feel like I'd be like, mm, no, there's no way you can match the green with the green with the green. He's doing it. He's wearing that. Like that's the thing. I gotta say, just because it's Steve, I gotta say this is a fit. What's even, that, what's even on his shirt there? <clears throat> green on the watch oh, face, man. guys. That's yeah. not an accident. Wow. Like. <laughs> He took monochrome fits to a whole nother level here. This yeah. is like nobody else can do this. I think these are orchid flowers. And then a green tint to the lenses, but not fully green. That mustache. Holy pimp. <laughs> His mustache is like, so good. Like it looks like he fake. has the look for it. He has the look for it. Like you need that stash for that shirt. 
you can't wear that shirt without that stash. There's no That's way. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Would you go to a – where are they? They're sitting courtside here, right? Yeah. Would you go to an NBA game and have your toes out? I don't know if you can put the dogs out courtside with all the cameras, but that's just me. <laughs> you got to be ready if that's the case. I don't know you, if I can do that. You got to be pedicured and manicured for yeah. that. Yeah. Petty morning. Remember that like uh, time when everyone was upset with Steve Harvey because there was this memo going around where he worked? What's the game show he does? Family Feud? The mm-hmm. Family Feud, yeah. And there was a memo that went out to his staff that was like, do not talk to me. <laughs> He's like, if you see oh, me in the yeah. hallways, don't stop and talk to me. And it made him look like a real jerk. But then I heard him on a podcast explaining. He's like, look, I only got so many hours in the day and people are coming up to me all over the place and eating up my time. And I can't tell each individual person to be a jerk one person at a time. I just had to be a jerk to everybody all at once. <laughs> Fair enough. That's fair, man. Got to be efficient, dude. Yeah, this guy's busy. Speaking of two J's, his foot's all better. He has some of the craziest, like, pants I've ever seen. I Um, love the the double front with the The front ripped off. Yeah, nuts. Um, But, yeah, old Rolling Stones T94-95 always comes right with a fitted. Um watch strap to match some crazy denim and a pair of are those the habibi dunks i think so just based on the lace yes those gotta be yeah um yeah i don't know for me this is a no doubter he rarely misses this fits nate yeah this is this is 100 percent for me too like for me it's that color combo like that that beige <laughs> with the red pops that was those are killing it for me that little highlight on the, the yellow behind the Rolling Stones and the yellow on the watch. The watch. Oh, that's subtle. Yeah. Yeah, that's super cool. And he's in his billion-dollar store with a block of shoes on the wall. It's a block long, eight eight stacks high. God damn. Fredo, have you been there? To uh, Not the new one, no. I want to go. I, I was supposed to go in December, but COVID kind of mangled that plan. Where's this um, new store? It's in the forums in Caesars. Okay. Because they were in the. Oh, I don't even remember what mall it was. It was some like crusty ass mall in the middle of Vegas that you had to like Uber to like 30 minutes. The Boulevard Mall, I think, is what it was. Um, but yeah, they're in the forums now. I mean, Urban it doesn't Minis- get much, it doesn't get much better than that. Yeah. It's urban necessities, right? Yeah. Yeah. They've got sick merch. I somehow got on their emailing list and I don't want to pay the, the shipping and the duties and everything, but they're like weekly. I'm like, Oh, I'd wear that. Oh, I'd buy that. I, I don't even care that I'm advertising your sh- store. It's just always sick he had like this peace and love thing going on and then they had they got into like racing wear like yeah for their uh their eight year anniversary that, that that's when they oh. did that shoe surgeon new balance mm-hmm. yeah it was a that you could like die yeah those are crazy that doesn't happen often either i feel like because i feel like when stores or certain brands put out merch I, I feel like it just doesn't work but if a store merch can actually be really successful that's that's pretty awesome They'll, obviously they have a good fashion background if they're if they're doing that but yeah, there's a, a there's fire. yeah there's a sick because they i think they like i don't know by the looks of it they focus a lot more on like the graphic than the actual the yeah. branding of it kind of thing mm-hmm. this shit showing up this is the uh, momentum obey shirt my local shop partnered with Ooh. obey yeah that was I way s- back wasn't it yeah it's been a it's been a minute and i just got mine and then my son got one too and uh we're part of that posse now, son. Obey posse. That's a classic, <laughs> man. Well, and like my my son, Wolf, he, to him, young Tabasco is like rock star. Like he saw, he came to town for the wrestling and uh, he's like, I need to get a fitted LA hat now. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> like, I wonder why. <laughs> but he told him that like this Obey logo is uh, Andre the Giant's face. And he's like, like from wrestling. Okay, okay, cool. I see why it's so cool. And <laughs> He's all into wrestling now. Shout out Tabasco. We miss you, man. Yeah, that, got- that show you guys went to looks sick. Oh, 
oh, that looked like a time. Yeah. Honestly, I didn't know what to expect. And uh, it was like you went to a movie that you never heard of and it was the best movie you ever saw. It was great. It was I love really that. Good. Love that for you guys. We got one more. I I got this sneaking suspicion it's going to be a hot look. Oh. Hey, I know that guy. <laughs> that flannel. Nate, I'm going to throw this over to you. You want to break this down? Yo, this is this fit is what I like about it is it's so simple and it's really nothing special, but for some reason it just kind of works for like a simple everyday fall outfit. Um, it's basically, I got the, the minimal, minimal LA, like it's like an over shirt, um, kind of thicker, uh, flannel. So you can easily wear it as a jacket. Um, and then just some Zara, uh, 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 cargos on and, uh, Air Force Ones. Throw some shades on and it's simple, man. You know what I mean? Not, nothing too crazy, but it is what it is. Clean. Yeah. Those white on white cocaine shoes matching that uh tank top just peeking through there just something subtle you know the but air I like, to, I like to just pull stuff that anyone can throw together you know what i mean like you can easily play with these colors like that green and that black and throw it in with a fit even if it's not the same piece those color combos are just so simple they always work you know it obviously fits and we could pull 50 more pictures where you really coordinate things I want to ask you, who takes these pictures? Who's always, are you setting up tripods? Um, so I, I definitely have set up tripods. I feel like I haven't mastered that skill enough yet where I'm just like kind of not getting the, the exact uh, angles and stuff that I want. So a couple people, like uh, my girl does a bunch of them. She's great. Um, I have a buddy named Ashif that I work with. He uh, has a really good setup. He's a photographer and, and, and does some work on his own, but um, we've been buddies for a while back. So whenever we link up, we'll, we'll shoot some stuff together. But uh, yeah, like I, I will, I will go out and take some of them solo sometimes, but a couple friends and uh, yeah, him especially and, and my girl do, do a lot of them. Yeah. Some of the best pictures of me are from just 4k video stills. If you can capture a good minute of you really feeling yourself, there's probably something in there where you got a good look on your face. Nate, you've got like a, a signature eyebrow sort of thing in some of your pictures. I, I wish I could fix my face, man. There's so many times I get smiling and then like this like vein in my forehead pops out and you're like, everything's cool here except for this. <laughs> you, know, you, dude, it's, it, it, you gotta find like those couple poses that just work and just run with it. You know, like I'm not, I'm not the most photogenic. I don't think at least in my opinion. So like I find a couple things that work and that you feel good with and throw it up, you know? The like reel I saw of you recently matching the colors up, you were, you did several takes in the same spot and you were moving and i appreciated that there's so many times people just like get in their pose and you're like i can't really get a feel for what this fit is oh there's something else i was going to ask you about uh cargos you saying zara right yeah for at least for that last pit, pit there yeah there was just black zara zara cargos yep is that your favorite what about koala what about uh like i i, I want to get better pants <laughs> yeah some i mean I know uh, Carhartt Work in Progress has a good couple of cargo pants. People really seem to be liking those. I don't have a pair yet, but the fit on those looks really nice. Um, I know uh, I've been looking at like a pair of like uh, Dickies uh, Tilly pants or from, from, from Tilly's, I believe. They have a couple really good selections of like the 874 Dickies and stuff like that. Um, so those are kind of what I'm looking at uh, grabbing a few more pairs of. I, uh, been needing some more denim and like maybe like another like lighter pair of cargos where I'm looking at a couple of those. And you were wearing a, it was a minimal flannel. I look at a lot of the minimal pants and I go, ah, and then they're going to mail it to me. And I, I guess I just get a bunch of different pairs and expect that I'm going to send a bunch back because sometimes it'll fit me in the waist, but it just doesn't in the thighs. They're inconsistent. I agree. Like I, uh, I usually need to size up if I get any bottoms from minimal, I, I've sized up on them most, most of the time. Yeah. And you're a fit dude. Okay. You're, you're a meaty fella. Do you find that like, are you 32, 34? Does that match up with a big, strong quad muscle? <laughs> you know, it's funny you say that I, I, I size up. I, my, my sizing is so weird. I find. So I usually get a 36 or 38 waist, but not because my waist is that thick is because like my legs need at least that size to yeah. fit. But then if I get like a 32 length, it's a little bit too long for me because I'm 5'8". I'm 
So um, I usually need like a 30 length and like a 36 or 38 waist. That kind of fits me well and like not like I have room in the thigh, but it's not yeah. too, too long either. Um, I've also uh, uh, got some pants uh, tailored, like some pants that are like, I mean, I was just like gonna ask a... another inch or two. Yeah, like I've got like a probably three, four pairs at least tailored and they fit me a ton better. So that's an option for all my, all my short kings out there. Tailor your <laughs> stuff and it starts to fit a little bit better. But I got to size up in the waist big time, wear a belt. <laughs> And when you're so sized up and you cinch that belt in and then it like folds over on the waistband, I hate that feeling. It's not that. ideal. Yeah. Not ideal. <laughs> yeah. But it looks like they were meant for you. I look at your pictures and I go, why can't I get stuff that fits like that? So I'm happy to hear that <laughs> it's a struggle for everybody. It's a struggle, man. But that's a, that's a good point. Like fit is essential. Like you can get very cheap stuff, very affordable stuff. But if the fit's right and the proportion's right for your body type, that's way more important than spending a bunch on a piece. So that, like, if you can maximize your fit for your frame, you're set with that. I was going to say, too, even, like, like where I work downtown at Labels, it's like a streetwear shop in the hat. Um, like, I think stuff looks so much better, even if you get, like, the cheaper one and spend the money on alterations to make it fit. It always looks so much better than getting, like, the more expensive piece and having it not fit alterations are, I, I think alterations make everything look better but do i'm a little have, biased because of where i work and do you have like a good seamstress there someone you can trust yeah she's lights out shout See, out patty that's my hey, yeah. shameless plug i i took these neon denims in because i bought 34 which is quite a bit for me i could wear 30 and i and you're like do i ask them to take four inches out that seems ridiculous that's not going to make, that's not going to add up. So you just start small <laughs> and I've done it before. I'm like, take one inch out. Okay. Take a half more inch out. They're, and they're charging me every time. You're like, you paid two twenty for the denim. Now it's 25 bucks every time they make a cut on these. <laughs> and eventually but, you go too far. You're way. like, okay, go back one. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Can you reverse it? If you've gone too far, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's almost better to, you know what I mean? You do the increments, but yeah. So we got a, a few questions just sort of about Nate, and then uh, I can gush on you about how uh, your comeback really gassed me up, man. You're such a motivational dude. That Thank that you, reel that Appreciate you put that. up with the Fort Minor song, dude, I'll put that on when I need motivation, for real. Hey, my man. I appreciate that, dude. Yeah. Shazo, what were you thinking? Um, I was more like just thinking moving into winter. Um, I know like you're someone who like really dresses for the season and the colors, but it gets hella cold here. Um, I know, you, I know that you're a huge varsity jacket ambassador, but if it's a minus 30 out. What are you going to step out in? Are you like a puffer yeah, jacket kind of guy or what? Um, I've, I've recently been in the puffer jacket game. Yeah. Like puffer jackets are definitely just like that everyday wear type of thing. Um, so that's probably going to be my go-to, um, but I really like overcoats as well. You get that little bit of that length, but if you're kind of going on the more formal side, um, you got like a date or something like that, I'd probably go with an overcoat instead. Um, but that, those are probably going to be my most worn, I would say, this 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 winter at least, when it gets real icy out there. Because, yeah, I'm with you. Like, it's a minus 30 here sometimes, so you can't be stepping out in like a light yeah, varsity or flannel or something like yeah, that. They, 100%. They can't apply, so. But yeah, puffers do my go-to and just getting a couple of different colors. That's, that's what I do is just like, yeah, like got like a, like a, like a cream pair that's coming in I, and I do like the brown I got like a black and then you're set. Like you can make a ton of different outfits with that. Right. But get the couple of different colors. It'll actually be worn for those. And then nice little overcoat and you're set. Um, I got two more for you. Um, I know you just got back from a trip from out in the middle of the pond. How do you pack for something like that? Like, do you pack like, pretty heavy or are you just like light with some more like essential pieces or how do you pack for a trip like that um wait sorry you mean like when i went over to uh to, like, to cuba, in cuba the i think like yeah 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 that's where that's where i was at least for the last vacation yeah, yeah but um for for trips man like that's the thing like i don't i don't like to bring too too much but i'll probably bring let's say I, so i went for that trip for a week and i think i brought like dinner fits for every day and like day fits for every day so I just kind of like would pre-pack the fits. I wouldn't just throw in a bunch of stuff in there. Like, cause that would, that would stress me out for some reason. Like I would just put the fits. Yeah, I don't no. know where. I'm together, the same way. And then pack that. Yeah. Like, I didn't know I if you were like, like just pack the, no. yeah. I thought no, you were like, I didn't know if you were that or like a pack the essentials and make it work kind of guy, but. 
Yeah, that's fair, man. No, I could like I could see how you could do the other way, but for me, I just like to have that squared away, and then yeah. at least I know what the fits are, and then yeah, I'm just that's easy going for me. Yeah, that would make me too anxious doing that. <laughs> um, last one. What is currently on your radar? What are you trying to grab here? Uh, this is I'm gonna go real obvious with this. I could, okay, there's two like sneak in the sneaker world, anyways. Um, for me, I need the Chicago ones. I don't care what they're going to be. I'm, I'm getting those. I, I hear there's a lot of circulation for them. So hopefully that doesn't drive the, the resale prices too high, but I need a pair. So those are a, a must cop for me, but, uh, early next year, those, uh, white cement threes, I also need those. No, no doubt. Um, I'm, I hope the stock's high on those two. They're, they're kind of that similar Chicago vibe with the reimagined theme. So those are two like hundred percent needs. Yeah completely agree i would almost rather have the threes than the ones but yeah i, 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 I would agree, love those are, i would love both i'm so excited for those I, what is it like march but march or something like that yeah i think it's like yeah. early march yeah but yeah those are must cop for sure but. did you get those red threes that came out recently with the nike air on the back the the red cement are those red cement threes maybe they were fire red oh fire red fire, yeah. fire red threes yeah that's it that's it that's it yeah i i passed on those just because for me um i have the fire red fours so i feel like they give off the same kind of feel same or similar red at least in those so i passed on those but uh yeah the white cement i'm, I'm gonna need those add some some different yeah. so yeah <laughs> that's my thinking that's like i already got this thinking I was wearing these starfish ones though when I bought the orange New Balances recently. I was like, I already got orange shoes. It's orange and white and cream. What am I gonna do? But that's cool though. I, I think that gives off a different look. Like that New Balance as opposed to the starfish. That's a totally different look. The 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 color like it's almost a little bit more vibrant on the New Balance. Like the look is totally different clothes that you'd wear with those. So I think you're you're okay. You're safe with that hey, one. That's that's thank all good. You. Yeah. Money yeah, well spent. Definitely. Feeling yeah. good about it. <laughs> It's it's funny the reasoning that you go through and then like the little voice is like, who cares about reasoning guy? You're getting them for retail, just buy yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, those Mirage Grays, I those are retail, man. Like they're just sitting on New Balance right now. I was like, these are these are super underrated. I guess uh I don't know what it is, but uh the sneaker market's down as a whole right now, right? So you can get some some steals out there. It is a good time if you know what you're doing. Some people only want to buy what's hype and they're like, I, I don't know, these aren't selling for anything. It's like who cares? Do you like them? Can you make them work? Is there shit in your closet that that matches with? Let's go. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So Nate is a fit guy. And the first time we had you on the podcast, we were like, yeah, guy's big. And you just sort of figure, I don't know, maybe he's like a football player. I don't know. I, I think he works at a gym, whatever. And then you put up a reel where it was like coming back from a real serious surgery on both legs. And I was like, holy God, if I would have known this, I would have asked him more about it. Dude, that is how you're, you're a young guy. It's uh, that's like life changing. We got Tabby's out right now. He got a cut on his hand. He's, he's all upset. He can't go to the gym for a couple of days. He's like, I'm out of the game. This is depressing, man. I'm trying not to lose my marbles over this. Dude, you had to learn how to walk again. Yeah, man, I, uh, I gotta be honest, guys, that was probably the hardest thing I've ever had to deal with. Like it was, uh, it was a tough time. Yeah. It was a tough time. And, uh, it's, it, this month is a year since the actual injury happened. So it was, yeah, end of October, basically I was, uh, I was hack squatting uh, for those who don't know what that is. It's basically like you're squatting, but in a machine kind of thing. And, uh, I yeah, ruptured both quad tendons. Um, so it was a serious, serious surgery. Um, couldn't walk like for months and it was uh it was a process relearning how to walk again and <laughs> stairs to this day are like my biggest enemy like it's uh <sighs> it's uh yeah it's, it's not ideal but i mean we're we're back in the game you know what i mean like i'm, I'm training legs again um i'm squatting again um very light like my weight's nowhere close to, to where i was at or anything but i'm just happy to be like working out again and just back in my element um, so it's going to be, it's going to be a process even, even from this point, but we're, we're way past the worst of it. And, um, yeah, it feels good to be on the other side of that. Dude. How about those first squats? Like the first ones are like, all right, I've built myself up to a point where I'm going to try this, but still that gun shy hesitation, you must've been scared. Like there's real fear there. I don't think that's ever going to go away. Honestly, like, that's always going to be in the back of my mind. Like what happened to a certain extent, even if I'm, willing to put myself in that situation that compromising situation again it's like 
it'll always be there. And it's kind of just knowing that you're healthy enough to be able to actually do it, but also not pushing yourself too far at the same time. So I'm at that like point where I want to push myself a little bit further, but I'm just scared a little bit in the back of my head. So it's going to be, it's going to be a process getting through that. Yeah. Building that confidence back up again. Yeah. Well, I, I, it makes my injury seem so minor. I, I, uh, I broke this wrist on both sides and I, I bring it up because I, I did get back to the gym in a way that I was on the second floor on treadmills, just like trying to keep it elevated, you know, trying not to get into the depression of gaining weight and losing everything. And nothing makes you want it more than not being able to do it. I'm up there on the treadmill watching guys just just like flat bench, you know, or squatting like in the weight room doing their thing. And you're just like, God, how long till I can get that again? Yeah. And that's like eight weeks. <laughs> and I'm all right. I'm back. Yeah. So when I saw you put up that thing of the journey and this journey continues, I, I think about you often when I don't want to do it. I'm like, geez, how do you think Nate feels? You well, know, what the, would Nate do? Yeah. <laughs> 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 hey, <laughs> appreciate you, boys. I appreciate you guys. Yeah. It means a lot. The support that I had from my, you guys and all the close friends and family, that's what got me through it. And just kind of doing what I could, right? Like I didn't try to push it too, too hard. I just did a little something every day and then that's what matters. Like, even if it's minimal, you're raising your legs a little bit, you kind of celebrate those little wins and keep it moving, you know? So then you get back rolling, things are going well, you're putting weight on again, you're dialing it in, you get the Cuba vacation, some sick pics, dude, like you're looking thick. How was the food? You're a guy who needs to eat. Cuba, I hear it's hit and miss. Are you a food guy? Oh, I'm a big food guy. I, I, I love I love going out. Me and my girl, we go out quite a bit. Uh, it's funny you say that. Like, so I was worried. That was my number one fear going to Cuba was the yeah. food out there. And I was like, okay, like, how's it going to be? We went to, um, a, it was called the Royalton was the resort we stayed at. And the food was actually really good. Like I was pleasantly surprised. I was saying to Rach, like our dinners that we'd go to every night at this resort, these are like hundred dollar dinners back home. And these are like, you know what I mean? Pretty, pretty decent. Like, so I would say if you pick the resort right in Cuba, you're going to be in a good spot. I think where they source their, their items from really matters and the selection they have, but I had no issues at all with the food out there. So Royalton in Cuba, I don't know if anyone's looking to book a vacation. They, <laughs> they're where it's at. Yeah. They had, they had some really good food. We uh, love Mexico. Went a couple times, went to the Dominican, wasn't quite what Mexico is, service, food quality. And on our way back from the Dominican, we stopped in in Cuba and picked up people on this plane. And every person that got on was like, is there snacks on this plane? <laughs> like they had been eating the worst. The, all they did was complain about the food for, for most yeah. of that flight back. And I was oh, like, yeah. well, I don't have much. I've heard horror about. stories. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I've heard horror stories. Like, yeah, definitely. Even from some friends that were going at the same time, but stayed somewhere else. And they had a not as good of an experience. So I think, yeah, the place you pick in Cuba, it definitely matters. And like, look, I'm going to eat and sleep. That's like the biggest things I want to do on this vacation, especially if it's just me and my girl. Like we're going to, we're awake during the sun. We're, <laughs> we'll try out your evening dinners things. Usually those aren't as good as they promise, but like that daytime napping and snacking, man, that's the life. The rotation. Yeah, that's it. Well, dude, this, I mean, time has passed. Holy shit. Thank you for giving us so much of your evening. I, uh, oh, of course. I, I could, I just love talking with you. It's, it, clearly you're a homie. We'll have you back on again soon. Absolutely. Yeah. We got to get back on with Nathan get the whole, whole squad together again. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. If there's ever like a WWE event out in Ontario, <laughs> we'll make the trip. <laughs> hey. Yeah. So uh, unless you want to do some shout outs, you got anything specific you've been saving? I think we're just going to call it a day and wrap on that. Yeah, let's call it, boys. Sick. Thanks for being here. That's Sneaker Show. We'll see if we can't get that episode with Omar out soon. <laughs> Peace to the Middle East. <laughs>